Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently, we are in the fifth module of our hands on machine learning course, and this fifth module is all about mathematics for machine learning. In the previous video, we have discussed about some basic vector operations, and in this video, we will try to visualize these vectors in uh, some plots using Python, and we will also try to implement these vector operations in Python. Okay, so that is the agenda for today's video. So, in case you are watching my videos for the first time, hi. In this channel, I'm making a hands on machine learning course with Python in YouTube. And if you want to learn this course from the beginning, you can go to uh, the playlist section of my channel. There you will find module wise videos in a separate playlist. Okay, so there you can start learning my course from the beginning. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. So, first of all, let me ex import some libraries. So, first we need to import numpy library so this numpy library is useful for making arrays and we know that a vector is a vector is nothing but an array in programming okay so we need this numpy library to create these uh, arrays okay so these arrays will act as our vectors okay and then i'll import matplotlib library so we need to represent these vectors in some plots so we need this matplot library and we'll also import cbound so cborn as sms so cborn is also another data visualization library so now what i'll do is i'll uh, use the function sms.set so this will give some uh, default team to our plot so it will uh, you know give some uh, grids for our plots and other things so next what i'll do is i'll just put a text here as plotting a vector so now let's see how we can plot a vector so we know that we will try to plot vectors in, uh, in in an arrow right in some graphs so let's try to do that so plt so plt is nothing but i have imported this matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot as plt and i'll mention this as plt.quiver so this quiver is the function that will plot the vectors so quiver quiver is nothing but uh, you know we would have seen this in some war movies which is you no know, quiver is nothing but the case that holds the arrows right so here we represent the vectors in arrows that's why i think they would have named this function as quiver okay so plt.quiver inside this we need to mention the coordinates of our vector so we need to give four numbers here so i'll give 0 comma 0 and 4 comma 5 so i'll explain you what these numbers signifies plt.show so this will uh, print our graph so let's run this now we will get our vector so this is our vector so and it is plotted in a graph okay so you can see this grids here so if you don't mention this sms dot set you won't get these grids so it is some basic theme for our plots so you can uh, you know note one thing here the you know, the x-axis is not you know in a correct way so the uh, units we have is around 0 0.00 0 0.02 and all so we don't want that so i want to create a vector of coordinate 4 comma 5 so we need to mention some parameters inside this quiver function okay so plt dot quiver 0 comma 0 and 4 comma 5 and uh, i'll mention the scale units so you can see the details about the parameters which we want to give here or else you can also uh, you know so these are the parameters which we need to mention you can also search in google as plt.quiver so it will take you to the documentation of this particular function okay so scale units is equal to xy and angles is equal to xy so these are just for having proper scales and units for our uh, graphs and the scale is equal to 1 now we can give the x limit so what is the uh, lowest limit for our x-axis and what is the highest limit and what is the lowest limit and highest limit for our y-axis those kind of things okay so plt dot x limit so this is the x limit and let let us have this x limit from minus 8 to plus 8 okay and let's also have the plt dot y limit from minus 8 from a plus 8 okay and now we can show the plot plt dot show now you can see that we get uh, a vector is plotted in our graph so this is the origin point which is 0 comma 0 so you can see the coordinate here so it is 0 comma 0 and then we have this uh, you know the x limit is minus 8 right so we have the values from minus 8 to plus 8 so similarly we give, uh, gave the y limit as minus 8 to plus 8 so it is given from minus 8 to plus 8 here so the vector which we have plotted is 4 comma 5 so if you take this particular coordinate you can see the x-axis here is uh, 
4 right so we gave an axis of 4 comma 5 so this will be the coordinate so x axis value is 4 and if you just uh, you know see this in the straight line here so the value here is 5 so we plotted a vector of uh, value 4 comma 5 okay so this 0 comma 0 is nothing but the base of this vector so the base starts at the origin point so we need to mention the base point here the base point is origin so we have mentioned 0 comma 0 so the important thing that we need to mention is the coordinate of this vector which is 4 comma 5 so this will plot a vector here okay so we can also change the color of the vectors which we are plotting so i'll just copy this and uh, we need to mention another parameter as color okay so color is equal to let's uh, put uh, let's put b so b represents blue color okay so now we will get the same vector in blue color okay so you can also plot multiple vectors in a in a single plot so i'll copy this so let us copy and paste this and I, i'll just repeat this line and let's create another vector so let's change the you know value so let it be so let's let's put some negative values here so 0 comma 0 and minus 3 comma minus 6 okay so this will create a vector of minus 3 comma minus 6 from the origin so let's run this okay so i'll just change the color of this vector let's change this to y y means yellow okay so now we will get two uh, vectors now you can see the starting point is same for both the vectors 0 comma 0 so it's both are starting in the same point which is the origin so the first uh, vector is 4 comma 5 so which is this and the second vector is minus 3 comma minus 6 so you can see the coordinates here so here the x coordinate is minus 3 and the y coordinate is minus 6 so this is how you can plot multiple vectors in a single graph okay so now let's uh, discuss about addition of two vectors so in the previous videos we have discussed about the theory on how we can add two vectors right so now let's try to implement this in python addition of two vectors okay so i'll just make a text here now let's create two vectors vector one and vector two okay so we will try to add these two vectors and i'll just just open the previous uh, slides for our video so in the previous video we have discussed about these slides so we took two vectors and tried to add them and find uh, what is the addition product so we found the addition of these two vectors 2 comma 3 vector and 3 comma minus 2 vector is 5 comma 1 okay so now let, let us take this vector as our vector 1 and this vector as our vector 2 so 2 comma 3 so let me put 2 comma 3 in my first vector so I'll use this np dot as array so we know that vectors are nothing but arrays right so i'll create a numpy array so inside this we need to put this in square brackets so the first value should be 0 comma 0 which is the origin point and the second values is here we saw that the values are 2 comma 3 so let's mention 2 comma 3 here so this will be our first vector right and our second vector will be np dot as array and the second vector is 3 comma minus 2 okay so the first two coordinates should be the same which is the origin 0 comma 0 and 3 comma minus 2 okay so these are the two vectors and now i am going to add these two vectors so sum let's create a variable as sum and let's add these two vectors vector 1 and vector 2 okay now let us try to print this vector print sum okay so this will give us the sum of the two vectors okay so just sorry so print sum so this is the addition of two vectors so you can see in this slide that the addition product sorry the addition result which we got is the vector 5 comma 1 and which is the same we got here right so now we can plot these three vectors so i'll just copy this and now we need to plot three vectors so these are the two vectors so, so the first vector will be 2 comma 3 right so 2 comma 3 and uh, so you cannot just put a vector one here so as you can see here it is in the form of numpy array right this vector but this quiver function we should give these four values so that is its uh, syntax so we cannot just put vector one in this case so we just need to put all the values so 0 comma 0 2 comma 3 and then the second value is for the second vector which is 3 comma minus 2 3 comma minus 2 is our second vector now let's try to print the sum of these vectors 
I'll copy this and let's plot the sum here. So the sum is nothing but 0 comma 0 and 5 comma 1. So I'll change this as 5 comma 1. Okay, so yeah, 5 comma 1. Now let's try to uh, print this, but I'll just change the color of this third resultant, the resultant sum. R. So R represents red color. So let's try to plot this. Now you can see here the first vector, which is a two comma three. So you can see here the coordinates. The x-axis is uh, x value is two and uh, y value is three, which is in between this. And you can also see which is three comma minus two is this yellow vector, and the red vector is the sum of the two arrays. So you can see the coordinates. So if you just take a line here, so the value is five. So the x-axis value is five, and y-axis value is one. So which is which we get here right so you can just compare it with the previous slide so you can see here it is almost similar right so we have two vectors and the addition which we got is 5 comma 1 and this is how you can find the addition of two vectors and you can plot this in some graphs okay and now let's do the same thing for subtraction of two vectors I'll just make a text here so it is the same procedure so subtraction of two vectors so i have explained you in the previous video how subtraction works how we need to reverse the direction of one vector and and find uh, the difference between them i just copy this part let's do uh, the subtraction for the same two arrays so here i just change this plus sign to minus sign and let's change this to difference okay and let's try to print this difference as well so let's run this and see what is the vector we are getting so okay so when we subtract these two arrays the resultant array which we are getting is minus one comma five so i'll go to this one so we have already did this uh, vector subtraction so we took these two vectors two comma three and three comma minus two so if you are aren't aware of like how you can find uh, the subtraction of two vectors graphically so you can watch my previous video um, i'll also give the link for this particular video in the description of this video okay so don't worry you can watch that video after watching this so when you subtract two these two arrays the array which we will get is minus one comma five right so which is the same we got here which is minus one comma five so now we can plot these arrays or these vectors so the change which we need to do is minus one comma five here okay so minus one comma five okay so i'll run this so this is our uh, difference vector so when you do when you uh, find the difference between the two vector this is the resultant difference we are getting so you can see it in, in uh, this particular uh, slide so it's the orientation of this array which is minus one comma five which is like very similar to this one okay so this is how you can find the difference of two vectors and put them in plots okay and finally Let's see how we can multiply a vector by a scalar. Okay, so multiplying a vector by a scalar. So scalar is nothing but individual numbers. So vectors are list of numbers, but scalars are uh, individual numbers. So uh, I'll copy this vector one. okay and let's create vector 2 and this vector 2 is about 2 into so this represents the multiplication sign in python so 2 into vector 1 so this will uh, be the scalar multiplication so and i'll print this vector 2 as well okay so our ve vector 1 is nothing but 2 comma 3 so i have also mentioned it here in the slide so when you just take two arrays so this is the array which we took or the vector we took which is two comma three and when you multiply this by two there will be element wise multiplication so this two will be multiplied with this two and this two will be multiplied with this three so the resultant which you will get is four comma six so the resultant we will get is the vector 4 comma 6 and it will lie in the same direction as the original vector but its size will be double the size because we are multiplying it with 2 okay and when you take a negative value so negative value is like we are taking minus here and when you take 0.5 your size will be reduced because like we are just taking half the value of the original vector size so when you do that you will get 
a vector in the opposite direction because there is a negative sign here that will reverse your vector and due to this point phi your size will be reduced because the values is uh, you know reduced right so let's try to do the same here so when you run this you will get you know 4 comma 6 so it is also the same case in all the cases there so when you just add two vectors there will be element wise uh, addition and when you add two vectors the resultant is resultant will be a vector and it won't be a scalar right so this is one of the important thing to take note of and uh, like there will be elemental uh, addition so like 0 plus 0 is we know that it is 0 when 2 is added with 3 we get this 5 and when 3 is added with minus 2 we will get 1 so the important there are two things to note yet so the first point is there will be elemental uh, addition element wise addition and element wise subtraction and also uh, these uh, values should be of the same shape you can see here we have four values in this vector and we have four values in this vector so if you have um, four values in this one vector and you have five values in the another vector then it won't work okay so the shape of the two vectors should be equal okay so that is another uh, main thing that we need to know so now we have found this uh, scalar product of a uh, scalar product of this vector which we got as 4 comma 6 so we can try to plot these two vectors just to take this so first vector is the same which is 2 comma 3 and the second vector is 4 comma 6 so i'll just change this to 4 comma 6 4 comma plus 6 okay so now i'll just remove this third vector okay so let's run this so you can see here uh, this is how uh, our vector look here so it is the same as the one which we have discussed so this vector will be double in size but it will be in the same direction okay so this is how you can multiply a scalar by a vector now let's do the another thing where we try to multiply it with minus 0.5 so in this case the vector the size of the vector will be reduced and its direction will be reversed so just copy this and now let's multiply this with uh, so previously we have multiplied with 2 plus 2 now let us multiply this with 0.5 that is minus 0.5 okay so now we can run this and the values which we are getting is 0 comma 0 and 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1.5 okay so let's plot this and this will be minus 1 and minus 1.5 okay let's run this so like the half of 2 is like when you divide uh, 2 by uh, 1 by 2 so we, you, we will get 1 right so it is the same thing so we are just uh, multiplying it with 0.5 and minus 0.5 let's run this so you can see here this blue vector is our original vector and this yellow vector is the resultant which is the multiplied product of minus 0.5 and this vector one so in this case the direction will be reversed and the size of the vector will be reduced to half okay so this is how you can multiply a scalar value with a vector so these are the basic operations which we have uh, discussed in the previous video and we have implemented this successfully in this video and in the next video let's discuss about some complex operations such as a dot product and cross product and also about projection of two vectors i'll just give you a quick recap of what we have done here so first we have imported the numpy library and matplot and seabound library numpy library is useful for making arrays in computer science uh, you know arrays are nothing but vectors so we are just try to plot this using this quiver function we try to plot this arrow so we have successfully plotted this vector here so we can change the colors of the vectors and we can also plot multiple vectors in a graph so, and we have seen how we can add two vectors and plot the addition product of the two vectors okay and we also have seen uh, how we can uh, subtract two vectors and and plot the you know resultant of the subtraction of the two vectors and we have also seen how we can multiply a vector with a scalar and how you can multiply you know reduce the size of a vector and reverse it okay so in all the cases the resultant will be a vector so you know when you add two vectors the resultant will be a vector when you multiply a vector by a scalar then the resultant will also be a vector okay so these are very important thing because in the case of dot product when you you know take dot product of two vectors the resultant won't be a vector so it will be a scalar so we will be discussing about that in the next video okay so i hope you have understood all the topics you have covered in this video i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching